Hello, heroes and villains, and welcome to the Built Face channel, helping you build a better turn. My name is Danger Ford, and I'd like to thank you for checking us out. So, uh, we are doing Match of the Week, and this is for Week 2 with users Envot and Check the Sky. Envot is playing Ghost Rider, and Check the Sky is playing Daredevil. So, I have to mention that Danger Ford done goofed. I'm not sure what happened with my software, but my video capturing software basically only captured about mm, 8 to 10 minutes of the game. So unfortunately I don't have much video to accompany with the match of the week this time around. But I do have a Skype call, so the video that I do have I'm going to just play in the background and then we're going to listen to the uh, little interview that I had with the players after the match. Some of the key parts that I noticed during the game was Check the Sky's Daredevil deck had a Xenomorph built to it, which was really interesting to see. There was actually quite a bit of cool synergy there, and it seemed to work decent at first, but I think Ghost Rider is just too much of a hard counter for Daredevil. Being able to basically stun his entire back row before you attack Daredevil means that Daredevil doesn't get any experience, which is really unfortunate for Check the Sky. I think the match was pretty one-sided and Ghost Rider didn't take any damage whatsoever. So without further ado, here's the match and well, as much of the match as you can see and the Skype interview with Check the Sky and Envot. Enjoy! Great. Sorry for all that hassle. That was uh, a little frustrating. Yay, free programs. Indeed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are coming in nice and clear too, so I, I don't think we'll have any issues uh, with recording this. So, But I don't want to keep you guys uh, too long. So um, first off, great game. Uh, thanks for letting me watch, and I appreciate it. <laughs> I wish I could have been talking to you guys while you were playing. It seems to make it a lot easier when you're actually on Skype, um, so that you don't have to worry about all the ins and outs of Octagon. So yes, absolutely. Yeah, totally for sure. I definitely prefer having something like Skype open. Speaking as someone who's almost pretty much used to being able to talk to somebody across the table. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So first off, uh, what's your guys' um, initial impressions on um, on the match? Well, it was a total blowout. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, Daredevil uh, he, he took kind of a beating. <laughs> well, you know, I, I uh, I'm an optimist at heart, I guess. So I wanted to play Daredevil, and then Nicholas said, "Hey, do you want me to play Dark Phoenix or something mm. actually fun?" So so he played something fun, which was great. Yeah. What's your thoughts? Yeah, I tried to choose something that would be just fun to play. Nothing that would, you know, just be overpowering. But even though it ended up being that way, <laughs> Hell on Wheels is real, real good. Like Moonstone's obviously a key to the the deck, and Hell on Wheels just sort of laughs at Moonstone. So it's kind <laughs> it's of a, a hard problem. counter to Daredevil too. Uh, you you won't yeah, be leveling definitely. up if your entire row is stunned before you can before you attack Daredevil. So yeah, exactly. Although I did like some of the synergies between the Xenomorph and Daredevil. I mean, I was really excited uh, and kind of crossing my fingers that <laughs> your Overmorph on turn one was going to yeah. really pull something out and you'd be able to have some crazy big alien come out on turn two. I had, I had the queen in my hand. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. Damn. Yeah. It's yeah. so flavorful. The, I love the it. Dream. You get the queen and then the queen makes more overmorphs and then it's really hard to stick uh you know guys at that point yeah indeed the overmorphs the face huggers don't care about how many wounds you have and things like that they just they just go get you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it really helps having uh well both of you guys were defenders so super senses i feel like played a really big role in this game yep absolutely mm -hmm. yeah i don't think there's like any deck that couldn't benefit from good old super senses that big old five defense on there. You feel pretty safe with that card in your hand, for sure. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, did I was... did either of you guys by chance have Spellbound in your hand? That's like a no. pretty underused Defender's card that I really like to see. 
So I didn't have it. Didn't make the cut. I have a spook and chest burst and super senses, and that's it for plot twists. That makes a lot of sense. The xenomorph uh, plot twists are a lot more powerful than spellbound could have been. Yeah, chest burst is also really nice when they can find. You know, if you can get an overmorph early. <laughs> Or a face hugger early. It's hard to do that six. Uh, he had spider woman, which was perfect, but chest burst is a great way to sort of throw a wrench into those plans. Certainly. Well, were there any um, key moments during the game that you guys wanted to talk about real quick? I think every time he did Hell on Wheels and killed my whole back row it was pretty good. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely a clincher. But yeah, kill. Actually, I think that Spider Woman taking out the the face on her. You know, I don't know how many other things you have on turn two that can do that. Like that was pretty. That sort of set the tone at that point. Yeah, that was really clincher too, for sure. So, well, is there anything else you guys wanted to talk about real quick? Otherwise, uh, I'll let you go. And you know, thanks again for letting me watch the match and recording it and everything. No problem. Thanks for setting up the league. It's been super fun to just play with people and you know and meet different people and Octagon seems pretty slick uh, except for when you roll a resource and it goes <laughs> who knows where um, <laughs> yeah oh yeah I didn't notice that it, yeah it goes wherever but I, yeah, like even when I tried to roll a resource it like went over to his front row I'm like where did it go I, I think it tries to put it somewhat in the middle, but it does it doesn't work for a card game since the middle is, is basically split right in between you guys. So Exactly. I mean there's there's some small things that Octagon does that I'm not really a fan of, but for the most part it, it's it's nice and intuitive and a great way to play the game. Yeah, I agree. And this is only the second time I've used it and uh, it's really easy to use and uh, I love it. Nice. I think uh, the deck builder in particular, if, if there was some way to make an app out of that deck building editor, that would be perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I like that too. Okay, well anything else that you guys would like to say? No, just uh, have a great night everybody. Indeed, thank you so yeah. much. Have right, a good thanks. night and uh, we will see you next time. Later. Thanks. Later. See you Nick. See ya. Okay, so that was the interview that I had with Envot and Check the Sky from the Build Phase League. Um, both brought up some pretty good points, so uh, I'm pretty happy with the interview at least. Again, I'm sorry that I didn't have any more video to show you, but uh, at least we got some other people talking this time around. Um, so I appreciate you guys watching the video, and if you like what you see, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, uh, give me any sort of feedback in the comments, or you can come over to the forum at thebuildface.com and continue the discussion on all things versus. So you've been watching the Build Face channel, helping you build a better turn. See you next time.